UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Players' Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Major Champion Rich Beam in the booth and it's wonderful to welcome in Henny Koyak who's out on the course following our featured group. Hey Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Who delivers when it matters most? That's the joy of any rivalry. And this is a good one to win. Needs a little members bounce to the right. That should set up another chance. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. This putt about 11 feet in distance. This is what they have left for a part. Just didn't drop. Eight feet to the cup. Okay, steady now. Time to make a putt here. This one's for double. Ouch, that's not the way they intended to start their day, Rich. Nope, it looked like you were out there, Luke. Lucky to get away with a double bogey. The first of our birdie opportunities comes at the second, par five. Drive it out to the right-hand side to give yourself a good look at reaching this green in two. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Going with a three wood here. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard. Oh, that's frustrating. Putting for a par here. Tracking. Oh, so close. And in it goes. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Harold Varner III setting up his next shot. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the par three third. Straight away mid iron to short iron shot. Par three, just 177 yards from the back, but this green is always firm. Be wary of that. Yeah, nicely played. Long way away from the hole if they want to make the birdie though. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. What's in front of them, Henny? They're 15 feet out. He's been staring this one down. Oh, he's up, Tiger. Five feet coming up to the cup. And that goes down for a bogey. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. Well, the fourth is another great example that it doesn't need to be a long par four to be a testing one. This fourth can be menacing, can't it? Par four, 384 yards from the back. A long snake-like bunker down the right-hand side to a cool little green with all sorts of movement on it. A very fun hole to play indeed. That's not going to find the fairway. Well struck. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Getting ready to play their third. Oh. 
Oh, I thought that one was going in. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Oh. There's part of about six feet coming up. Oh, nice line. Luke, as fast as I was traveling, I'm not too sure anything would have slowed that thing down, much less the flag stick. And finishing this hole with a tap in putt. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. All right, Rich, the par four fifth. A strong hole this one, isn't it? Par four, 471 yards from the back. Drive it out to the left-hand side to give yourself the best angle for your second shot into this long, thin green. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. Uh, I'm not sure that's what they had in their mind. That's further right than they wanted. And he's down there. You got a read? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. Oh, just missed. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Now oh, that's got to be frustrating. It's such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. It's time to check on the leaderboard. The tee shot at the par 4 6 has changed a lot now that that tree's been taken out of the way, Rich. But uh, what do you think of this short par 4? Par 4, 393 yards from the back. Most players taking out a long iron or hybrid just for placement in the fairway. This green is surrounded by tall palm trees. Don't get caught out by one. Opting for the 9 iron. Oh, well played. All the great players make a bunch of these. This is from 15 feet. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. That was a gallant attempt. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. As we go from a wonderful little par four, we go to a challenging longer par four, the seven. Difficult par four, 451 yards, water, and sand all the way down the left hand side hit it out to the right find the green with your second and sprint to the next hole making four from about 130 yards here wind is going straight at his back and now heading over to harold varner the third oh he's out in front here in this rivalry but can he stay that way and back to the play shall we okay henny What's he looking at with this putt? This is about 24 feet for him here. Oh, so close. And this putt coming up for his par. Good looking putt. Appears to have overcooked this one. Just six feet between here and the hole. Looking good. Nice little putt to hold that one. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The eighth hole, a long par three, stretching 240 yards at its maximum. It's no sleeper, that's for sure. I don't find anything sleepy about this hole. The front of this green is so narrow. There's no place to land it, especially when they put the flag stick there. This hole will grab your attention as it should because it's a long iron to a sliver of an opening. Even when they put the pin on the right-hand side, you want no part of it. The center of the green all day long here. A bit too much pace on that one. Par putt coming up here. Ooh, right by the hole. Just three feet to the cup. Yep, tracking well. Johnny Mac, what's the news? Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the ninth. Let's take a look at the current standings. 
Our current leader is up by three shots. The front nine of TPC Sawgrass finishes with a par five, but not easy to get there in two. It is not a big tee shot down the left center is required. Anything out to the right could catch that bunker and even fall into the water over there on the right. If you decide to go for it, you have to hit a fairway metal long iron high over some trees on the left hand side to a very narrow green. The layup shot out to the right will make that third shot so much easier into this tiny green. And here we are with the third shot. Playing their fourth shot. Oh, that's all class. That'll help make a big move. And let's have another look at that one. Beautifully judged. Great tempo on this chip. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. As you make the turn here at TPC Sawgrass, the tenth hole is a clever one. Pretty basic par four, just 424 yards to the back tee. Players take out a hybrid or a three wood, hit it out to the right hand side, which will leave a short second shot. However, lots of undulations on this green, so make sure your second shot is the correct distance. Going with the nine iron, I think. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I didn't think they'd be able to hit that from that line. An opportunity for a birdie here. Mm, just hammered that through the line. Mm, good chance this one, right on six feet. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? This one for bogey. Good putt, that. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, almost went in. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. There's some birdie holes out on this course, and the 11th is certainly one of those, but uh, there are some troublesome spots if you get out of play. There definitely is trouble, but the thing I love about this hole the most, Luke, is that there's so many different ways to play it. Most players will take driver off the tee, but from there, now it's anybody's ball game. You don't have to go for the green on the second shot. You can lay it up over the left. You can lay it up over to the right. You can lay it up long left. There's so many different ways of attacking this hole. Each individual is going to do it differently. I love the second shot on this hole. Getting ready to play their third. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 14 feet from the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Six feet remaining to the cup. This looks good. Uh, looked good for a while, but unable to drop just inches away. And that putter's hold, and that means it's back-to-back -back bogeys, unfortunately. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can't rebound from that. Well, the tee shot is all that matters on the short par 4 12th. Most players can reach the green. It's just the decision whether the player goes for it or not. They can, but they better be aware that there's a lot of danger up there. Water left obviously is no good, but even bailing out to the right in those dunes, in the mounds, the little pot bunkers on top of those mounds, well, forget about it. That's not a good space either, especially since the green does run pretty hard from right to left. If you want to take this hole on with driver and expecting to make three, well, you need to realize that a five and a six could be easily made as well. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. 
Well, as you start to head for home here at TPC Sawgrass, you're blessed with this wonderful par 313. So many different levels to this green on the par three, playing 181 yards from the back. You can get it close. You can even make a hole in one, but watch out if you hit in the wrong spot on the green. It'll be difficult to two putt from there. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one's for birdie. Steady on. Right on four feet. Should make this one. He was on a good line. Bogey putt coming up here. It's looking solid. Gee, that had a chance, didn't it? And this one will be for double bogey. Now, plus 11 for the day. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Plenty of trouble around this golf course. The 14th, the par four, represents a number of that. If you hit it down the left-hand side, the golf ball will chase a long way, but you'll be blocked out by some trees. You hit it out to the right, you're going to be on top of a mound, but you'll have a really good idea of what's in front of you. This hole historically plays as one of the toughest ones on the back nine, and it's all because of where that green sits. It sits from right to left with a decent amount of movement in it. It is not straightforward at all. This hole causes players all kinds of problems. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. This putt just five feet away from the hole. And down she goes. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The par 4 15th again requires another strong tee shot because there's some trees in the way, Rich. One of the more simple tee shots on the golf course, par 4, 470 yards. Just a little fade required off the tee to the fairway. The green sits up above the fairway a little bit, surrounded by a couple of bunkers, but I gotta say, I like this hole. It's straightforward, it's simple, before you head into the final three. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 165 yards. And choosing the eight iron here. Well played, mate. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Looking really good, this one. Look at the old hammer hands putt. Good putters will make these. Right on five feet. And in it goes for the par. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Sitting at 11 over for the day. As we head to the 16th tee, the famous par five reached the start of the gauntlet. Fun-filled adventure waits. Find the fairway, and let's see how brave you are. Do you want to take on the second shot and try and knock it on the green? Of course you do, but watch out. Lots of water awaiting a wayward second. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. He's HV3. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, but of extra juice needed. Just didn't drop. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. 
Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Uh, a bit long on that one. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Nicely hold, and for par. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The par 317th, one of the most famous holes in all of golf. The Island Green, one of Pete Dye's, but really Alice Dye's masterpiece. Par 317th, 137 yards, Island Green. I've actually seen a caddy throw it onto this green, but with a golf club in your hand, can you hit the green? A chance for a birdie if this goes down. They thought leaving the flag stick in would help them, and they thought wrong. City at 11 over for the event. When you feel like you've survived the 17th, you stand on the 18th tee and you think to yourself, where do I hit this? It's just one of the most difficult visually intimidating holes I think you'll ever face in your life. Somehow, try and hit it down the right-hand side of the fairway, keep it out of the rough, and from there, hit it out to the right-hand side of the green somehow, also keeping it out of the rough or that pot bunker short right. Listen, you'd be happy to make five here, that's for sure. Fours are magnificent. Threes are unicorns. They really don't happen that much. It is such a difficult, demanding finishing hole. Probably one of the toughest in championship golf. Well, I'm sure that wasn't what this player had in mind for this event, but hopefully there's something better in their immediate future. Yeah, that is putting it very gently there, Luke. Not very much happening at all in this player's game this week.